What is up, it's Laz of Apollo, bringing you some Witcher 3 review. Now, this game is easily the top game of the year for me at the moment. I understand Project Cars is a great game, but this game is top-notch. I'll give my uh, score at the end of it, but here we have uh, one of the first main cities you'll go to, which uh, the uh, main person here is called the Red Baron. But uh, this is kind of the settings you go, it's medieval, so the best way to describe this is Red Dead Redemption meets the lore and the, I guess, mythical stuff of Skyrim, plus Assassin's Creed for like the attacks and combos. There's not technically combos that you can do, but you tap it enough and then they get to a lower level. And then of course you can do like a finishing move once they get to a low level, and you have an adrenaline, so... If you keep hitting somebody non-stop, the next person you hit will have a better critical chance. Here we now have the blacksmith. The blacksmith is basically, you know, what normal blacksmiths do. They help craft items, they can help you uh, purchase new weapons, they can repair things for you, and you can also purchase stuff from them. And materials wise, you can purchase from them. But they can craft things for you. You can't craft things besides potions and oils and that type of stuff. So to make new items, you either have to purchase them or craft them yourself. And they help you through this with how to craft things. And you can dismantle things to get more things to build. So say you dismantle like a sword, you'll get like a leather strap and then like, like sh iron fragments or shattered fragments of iron, which you can use. and used to produce more weapons then you have the shopkeeper which has the normal stuff as your food which is your health in this game your health doesn't really I mean it does regenerate but it regenerates at a very slow pace especially for the beginning of this game which I'm about eight hours into it and I'm only at level seven so that's how like if you want a game for this summer this will be set for you like this game in Elder Scrolls Online you won't have a life the rest of the summer but uh here we basically just have kind of like the castle area and uh, a lot of people forget about this in the game and that is you have a craft table and then you also have a uh, grinding stone and this helps for 15 minutes of armor and 15 minute added bonus of damage. Things that you can do in this game for activities would be uh, fighting, uh, board games or card game if that's what you'd like to call it. but. Uh, yeah, there's small activities you can do in this game, which are pretty fun. Um, this being fighting, there's like a fight club type thing, and I just whooped one of the Baron, Red Baron Sergeant's ass and that, so that was a pretty kick-ass thing to do if you don't say so myself. Anyways, let's go get down to the uh, abilities you got here. You got your trap, for this is good for hunting things, because once they go in the trap, it'll slow them down, which I will explain later if I don't already right now and then we have fire actually take that back this is not fire this is the shield you use which when somebody attacks you it'll deflect them off and you won't get damage you have flames which is a normal thing for any kind of like witch type thing then you have like mind control which you can stun people with that and then you have telekinesis which is pushing people away but uh yeah it's overall a great great addition to have special abilities in any kind of video game so uh, let's get to the action of these you can basically barter for more money is what I'm trying to say and uh, that helps a lot especially since money is pretty tough to get in this game although I don't look into like uh, gameplay online stuff I'm trying to do this on my own now here we have some old ghouls that are I'm a, that I'm about to put to shame but uh I can show you the abilities in action. That was the shield, so I leveled that up because there is a skill tree for all these things. And that bounces and deflects people off of me. So if they hit the shield, then they like get jolted back. Now the trap is better when you're attacking beasts or hunting down uh, certain things. Because it slows down their attacks once they run through that circle or try to attack you in the circle. Then of course you have the flames, which is effective against these guys. And there is a like glossary telling you almost like the pokedex of uh what things can hurt because uh, there's so many so many animals and creatures in this game it shows you like what things they're immune to 
But there's the uh, telekinesis, which is telling you. Or is it telekinesis or is it mind control? I don't know what it is, but yeah. But uh, here we have the glossary telling you of beasts. And as you can see underneath, you can see what they are, uh, what will put the most damage down on them. There are a large amount of animals and monsters in this game, so you'll eventually get used to them. But some of them look pretty identical, especially in the dark, which kind of makes sense, though, because a lot of things are hunched over or not. So it's always good to jump to that to see how you can kill them easier. Here we have the alchemy area, which you can make certain things. Um, it's a pretty useful thing, and once you make bombs, when you meditate, which is basically the uh, fast travel or waiting, like in Skyrim and Fallout, it actually reloads all your stuff. So your oils, you just have to make once, and then when you meditate, they all refill. And that goes with bombs also, so you don't have to keep reusing bombs or making them. Here's the map for map 1, which is you would think is pretty big. But uh, once you go to map 2, these are two maps into one. And as you can see, the question marks are where I have not been. And I'm saying this is eight hours, if not more, into this game already. And those green flags are where I've been to and the things that are kind of shaded out or what I've done already. So this is already, I think, when they said that this was going to be the biggest map that's been out, this is definitely top Skyrim's map. But uh, here we already have the contracts and the quests. And, I mean, like I said, this is eight hours that I've put into it. And that's just the amount of ones I've done. Which isn't a lot compared to, like, Skyrim or games like that. But uh, here we have the skill tree, which you have combat, then you have powers, then you have, uh, I want to say, alchemy to help you build potions and stuff. And then there's one that just does normal, well, not normal, is kind of a top-notch thing that is kind of in its own uh, secretive thing. By secretive, I mean uh, one of them is you regenerate 5 health when you're in the sun or out in the day, and regenerate 5% when you're not in combat, which you would think is a lot, but it's not as much as you think it is. And then we have mutagens which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but uh, that helps with like adding vitality or adding combat, which doesn't even help with much combat. And then it also helps with like potions and how quick you can use the potions and whatnot. And as you can see, that's when I meditated. So that's what the basically the uh, waiting time, but you refill all your stuff. Here's the card game, which I'm, I've been told it's called Gwent, and I've also been told it's called Went. So I'm not 100% sure how I even say that, and if it's been told to me that I've said those both wrong, then I feel like an idiot, but it's a complicated card game, but it's also not complicated. Some of it can be difficult for some people, others it cannot. But as the Witcher, we'll get into this then. The Witcher has basically a sense of finding things, because he hunts down witches and whatnot. Well, technically not witches, but hunts down like mythical beasts and regular animals and whatnot. And he's a contract killer, so he's a bounty hunter for basically everything. Uh, people and even like mythical things. And right here we have like banshees. And uh, I believe they call them specters in this, but I feel like they're banshees. But uh, basically they're like the ghostbusters taking these guys out. But um... Yeah, this is basically what the game consists of. I mean, I'm not showing a very good model of it, but it's a lot of fun action, and it's a lot of dodging and rolling, kind of like you would do in Bloodborne. But overall, this game is easily 9 out of 10, and you should get it for the summer. And if you don't have it already, I don't know why you don't, because I'll just do this to you if you don't have it. Anyways, thanks for checking out my crappy review, and I'll put out new ones later. This one was all last minute anyways, and if you watched all of it, kudos to you. Anyways, like, subscribe, do whatever, dislike it, I don't really care. I do these for fun. Anyways, check you guys out later.